All right, we got the Jokers just have the greatest Olympic comeback ever. But I'm, I'm already surprised fucking Jokic won the fucking game, bro. I ain't gonna care. I don't know Jokic won like in Spain, bro. I'm in Australia. I mean, it's not really surprising, is it? Nah, it's not that surprising. Australia are good, but not that good. They're pretty equal to Jokic, I mean, to Serbia. They are Pali Mills. Pali Mills and fucking... Oh, how, how did I forget his name, bro? Bro, I forgot, but you know what I'm talking about, the other dude, bro. And Jokic, I mean, they only have Jokic and Bogdanovic. It's pretty much the same thing. But I was expecting Australia to win, though. I don't know. I thought it was Australia was gonna win. I swear. Same goes for Canada, but I don't know how Canada lost. But I'm disappointed in them. They were supposed to win against France, bro. Really disappointed. Really disappointed. But who's Serbia playing? Oh, yeah, it's the US. They're playing against the US again. They lost two times against US. I have no chance against US. Defeating Spain, but then losing to Canada and Greece, sneaking in on point differential. That being said, both Josh Giddy and Jock Landell have Thank you, Josh Giddy. That's, that's the name I was I think that's enough for trying to remember. Into this game. So one thing that Australia did a fantastic job of in this first half was when they were doubling Jokic, they would bet on Serbia's role players to hit shots, not including Bogey. And that was an Achilles heel for South Sudan, who just refused to acknowledge that a player like Avramovic or Petrushev, even Dobrik, Ooh. was worth leaving open if Bogey was open on the three-point line. To begin the first quarter, Josh Giddy had like eight points within the first half. What of the happened? First quarter. And here's a great example of Australia making Serbia's role players beat them. And it's Damn, not that was good defense. I don't want to sound rude, but if Bro. you're still trying to make money online with things like e-commerce. The final 2.30 left of the first quarter, Australia would go on a 10-0 run, thanks to Patty Mills, who by the end of the quarter has 12 points. Bro, how the fuck Australia gave up a 24 lead in the Olympics, bro? In that first quarter. Patty Mills hits this Serbia probably locked in the fuck th bro that that defense was probably crazy bro or Australia was just missing everything bro losing a 24 lead is crazy and losing two is worse this quarter with Jokic sitting and Australia has now gone on a 22-0 run up 39 to 17 Patty Mills obsessed with the ball movement the flow with the cutting off ball Patty Mills is like the Yanis of Australia always doing something always doing everything but still coming Coming short. That's crazy. Australia has their largest. But they were losing by the bro. All you guys. All you guys give up a 24 lead, but I don't understand, man. I don't. And just to show you how hot Australia started off this game, they were 20 for bro. five from that's, the field. That's just to show that Serbia got lucky. They, they low-key got lucky, bro. The U.S. are not going to give up a lead, bro. In transition. Serbia finally hits a three. This time it's Goodrich. It's 48 to 37. And that's actually his first three of the tourney. On U.S. are not giving up a three, bro. Everybody can be hot. Everybody can play well. But Serbia is resilient. They put it back in. And at halftime, they're down just 54 to 42. But Australia should have expected this. They started off incredibly hot shooting. And Serbia was due to Half time. threes. They just got to weather the storm in the second half. <clears throat> Patty Mills, early in the third quarter, gets this layup. He now has 22 points. Damn. 9 for 12 from the field. Josh Giddy has 15 points. And then Jock Landell picks up his third foul, which is a big deal here. They continue to double Jokic, but they are a little slow in their rotation. Bogey makes the right pass. And Serbia hits this three. Nice shot. Making it just a seven-point game. 
But Patty Mills is still hot. He gets another mid-range jumper. Twenty. Nice shot. Australia just gets super sloppy with the ball. Twice they turn the ball over, and it results mm. in threes for Serbia. This Dobrich three makes it 62-59. And the bogey's so good. Biggest joke in the Olympics so far. Australia losing a 24 lead. lead of the game at 61 to 60. Australia is not going to go away though. Jokic has this offensive rebound and finish 63 62. But then Josh Giddy hits this middle <sighs> jumper. I'm telling you, he's been great in these Olympics. If you're he did been man, playing great. You have to have a lot more hope. I hope it's gonna play like this in the in the NBA, bro. It will be really good. Even though this is FIBA, I will be Josh happy for him after what happened. A lot when he is the primary ball handler. I do think one thing that's super interesting about Nikola Jokic is he has not been able to hit three pointers since the NBA playoffs. He misses back to back open threes on the same possession here. After this game, he's now shooting 20% from three in these Olympics. He shot at just 26.4% from three in the playoffs this year after going 36% in the regular season and a whopping 46% in the 2023 playoffs. Mm. These free throws from Jokic give Serbia a 67 to 65 lead at the end of the third quarter. Australia greatly cooled off with their shooting. They scored just 11 points in that quarter. Serbia wow. 25 and we head to the fourth. Micic hits a three here that was super clutch because it was a complete grenade from one of his teammates. Look on that play, look how much they are helping down on Joker. But a Josh Giddy three ties the game at 78 with 315 to go. Giddy then just has a really bad foul on a Micic three. Micic makes all free throws, 81 to 78. I will say though, it feels like down the stretch here, Australia is not getting nearly as many calls as Serbia. And part of that is Serbia has been more confident they've been attacking more but it does mm. feel like they've gotten a lot of 50 50 calls in their favor jock landale gets four fouls on him and i feel like i don't know i feel like that's kind of kind of iffy josh giddy continues to be awesome in these olympics he hits this one footed floater 80 Damn. 80 and then down the stretch australia has a chance to take the lead with Yo, Kish probably did something left, huh patty mills misses this floater no oh my gosh play, and he's freaking out i mean I don't know, dude. Again, it's just hard for me here. I don't know, man. He does kind of get him on the hand. Um, but I think the call is worse in light of how this fourth quarter was officiated. Jock Landon. Mm, I mean, he did touch him. Micic makes one of two free throws. Australia is down 82 to 80. That's a tough call, but still a foul, I guess. That's when Patty Mills hits this insane fadeaway jumper. He actually really the ball and somehow regathers it. Hits this fadeaway over Nikola Jokic, 82-82, going into overtime. No way. Ten angles of this. Oh my gosh, you won overtime? I didn't even know that. And this is what made the game even better, in my opinion, because Australia refused to go away every time that Serbia tried to bury them, especially coming back. Holy to shit! A large deficit. Keep in mind that if Serbia pulls this off, it would be the greatest Olympic comeback in history at 24 points. And now we head to overtime with a chance to go to the semifinals on the line here's the big secret about women we want you to flirt with us we even want you to get sexual with us yo you guys serbia's gold medal chances come squarely down to and nobody believe that shit bro come on bro y'all niggas are gonna end up in jail bro passes dobrich hits this one and it's 85 to 82 serbia early Damn. and then mcveigh for australia hits what i think was a pretty terrible shot and the duop breathe puts australia up 87 85 bogey kind of cooks josh giddy here and ties the game but then josh giddy comes right back down and hits a three with almost giddy at 35 what the fuck i think this is why this game was so holy shit because in overtime that's definitely the best game in the olympics then also the the biggest joke in the olympic both of them at the same time more likely the team that gave up the huge lead, but Australia would just never go away when you thought they would. Matter of fact, there's an offensive foul on Serbia, and now they are down three with 225 left. Australia has to convert on this possession, but instead, Nikola Jokic comes up with a massive play blocking Josh. Oh, man, giddy, got in. gritty. And of course, you guessed it. Another foul on Australia on the other end. That's what I'm saying. Maybe these are fouls. Maybe I'm being a little biased, but it just felt like Serbia got the benefit of the doubt every time down the stretch here. It's 92-89 with two minutes to go. Patty Mills gets the switch on the Joker, beats him to the rim, but mm. Jokic has this clutch way off the rim, which yo, is beats. Yo, and the goat ending, bro. 
Jokic has this clutch swipe away off the rim, which is legal in FIFA, remember? And now Serbia has the chance to take it. That's legal? Instead, Jokic turns the ball over. What the fuck? Right back and hits this right hook for the Yo. lead. Yo. I'm telling you guys, this game is back and forth the entire way. McVay takes what I think is a terrible, 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 terrible shot. With a Why is that legal? Shot clock plus with a 15-foot jump shot. He misses. That has to be Josh Giddy, Patty Mills, or a wide open and three slash roll and then joker just does what he does best on duop wreath hits this fadeaway jumper mm. serbia a 93 to 90 lead Josh Giddy turns the ball over on the ensuing inbound. I have no idea what he's doing. Bogey makes both 95 to 90, and Serbia wins, completing the greatest comeback in Olympic basketball history, surviving a game tying shot at the end of regulation, and one of the best shooting halves I've seen in a long time on the international level. So let's get into the box scores here and remember a team you're fighting Mills and Giddy went crazy, bro. Moment, they all, they both have 30, I think. Canada and Germany between 25 and more with australia here i was very impressed with oh getting a 25 fighting mills 26 i really felt like they could beat i was right buddy on any given night josh giddy finishes this game with 25 points on 11 thought you had more bro field five rebounds four assists but the one thing is he had seven turnovers he's got to clean up that area and that completes actually a really good olympics from josh giddy he was the team's leading scorer at 17 and a half points per game on 50 percent from the field he also shot 47 percent from three had 7.8 rebounds and six assists per game Damn. Patty mills had 26 points on 11 for 21 from the field even though he was just one for five in the fourth quarter and overtime with that one field goal being the game tying shot he had one of the best offensive first halves i've seen in a while and it moved him up to fifth all time in olympic scoring on the men's side jock landale had just five points and six assists he averaged like four scoring on okay Kevin Durant is eight okay it was number one for the united states why the fuck he got 1,000 points? On the men's side, Jock Landale had just five points and six assists. He averaged like 14 points per game in the side. Jock Landale had just five fifth. Yo, KD gonna... I think KD probably gonna pass. Gonna become seven. Mm, he might get seven. In Olympic scoring on the men's side. Jock Landale had just five points and six assists. He averaged like 14 <sighs> points per game in these Olympics and 8.8 .8 rebounds on 62% for the field. He was a massive loss to foul trouble in this game. And then for the Serbs, Nikola Jokic finished with 21 points, 14 rebounds, nine assists, a plus minus of 17 in 38 minutes of play, which Look means- Bogdanovic, how much Bogdanovic? 17, 17 points, okay, he played well too. scored by 22 points. Bogey had 17 points with five rebounds and six assists as well. And like I said, Serbia's ceiling is completely capped by Avramovic, Dobrich, Guterich, Micic, Petrushev, all these role players being able to hit the open three. In this game, they were combined six for 16 with Dobrich Damn. going three for four. So yeah, you just witnessed the greatest comeback in Olympic basketball history. Yep. Serbia will now face the winner of USA and Brazil, which you obviously will find out in the video tomorrow. If you bro, you don't even need to watch the game. You already know what's going to happen, bro. Come on, bro. And obviously, we're going to assume it's the USA. I think Serbia has as good a chance at being the United States as anybody besides maybe Germany. I'd probably give the edge of Germany a little bit. We'll see. It just takes... Bro, Serbia lost two times to US, but how the fuck do you think they can win, bro? Come on, man. Players to have some three-point variants, and that's about it. Obviously, they're not nearly... But blow out two. United States. They have no chance, bro. ...on the court. He played the United States even, so we'll see what happens. Even? Serbia's head coach... I'm playing Jokic huh? every minute of the game. The last thing. But what you mean even, bro? This dude gotta be glizzing the Jokic, bro. Oh my gosh. Joker's conditioning is at. Maybe you'll have to sit him strategically, but he cannot be playing 32, 33 minutes in regulation. Jokic is going home, bro.